The Balearic Islands in Spain are home to a considerable diversity of seabirds, including the Balearic Shearwater. This seemingly unremarkable bird, with its dull plumage and discreet behaviour, is unique because it only breeds on these islands, although it can be spotted foraging in the coasts of nearby continents, where prey is more diverse and plentiful. Balearic Shearwaters perform outstanding migrations. After the breeding period, they take flight towards the Atlantic. Because of their gregarious nature, they are especially vulnerable on this journey to oil spills and other threats that are common to these waters. The harsh migration ends when most birds return in the autumn. Back in the Mediterranean Sea, shearwaters reunite and they only venture into land to visit their breeding colonies. They choose hard to reach locations for their colonies and they will return to breed in the same spot every year for the rest of their lives. These are long-lived birds, but they face many threats which reduce their life expectancy. Currently, fewer than 3,000 breeding pairs are estimated to exist and their population dwindles every year. At the current rate, the Balearic Shearwater could become extinct in just over 50 years. That's why it's considered the most endangered seabird in Europe. In February, shearwaters rejoin their partners for mating. Before laying their egg, females abandon the nest to forage for food during several days or weeks. The most important areas are on the east coast of Spain, which is closest to the islands. But with favourable wind, shearwaters can venture even further. They often dive near fishing boats to pick off discarded fish. They can become trapped in fishing gear, and this has become the main threat for shearwaters, both in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. In early March, the first females lay a single, white egg, and both parents take turns incubating it. While one remains in the nest, the other flies out for food, on a journey that can last several days and take the bird hundreds of kilometres away from the colony. Between April and May, the eggs hatch. From that moment onwards, the parents will only visit the chicks at night with food, spending the rest of the time at sea, often for days at a time. Because shearwaters evolved with no natural predators on land, they have no defensive adaptations to predation. Now, rats and cats, introduced by humans to their habitat, have become dangerous threats for some colonies. To monitor the conservation status of shearwater populations, field technicians visit the colonies periodically. They collect reproductive data and determine whether predators are present. They also place remote monitoring devices to track the bird's movement, and they ring both adults and juvenile chicks. During the nights of July, young shearwaters abandon the colonies for the Atlantic. On their first flight, some become disoriented by light pollution from coastal towns, and they can be run over by vehicles or attacked by cats and dogs. Avoiding these threats is a real challenge. That's why organisations like IRBI and ICIO BirdLife, with the support of Life in Tamaris Project and help from the government, scientific institutions and society are working together to ensure this unique bird doesn't disappear from our coasts and seas. Project supported by the European Union's LIFE programme.